Well, just because I'm off doing a movie shoot does not mean the show stops, which means we have a live, what the fuck, a very, very, very crowded, but welcome live, what the fuck is wrong with us? Is this us the most tonight? co-host you've ever had? Probably, yeah. This, yes, this we is, set a record! This is the first time I've ever really kind of done anything like this. I feel like we're doing the thing on CNN where they have like eight talking heads trying to figure <laughs> out where the <laughs> line's plane is. Yes. It could be in a black hole. Clearly, it's on Mars. I'm I'm pretty sure tonight is is going to be exceptionally weird. Um, from this show, I hope that's how we like it. We like it weird. <laughs> Zing! What? I like it being hugged. I cannot lie. Never let a hug pass me by. You can get my fries or cuddles, but please don't let those hugs. So, gentlemen, ladies, you can draw me to a complete head. If those arms are pretty, please just give me a big old squeeze. Hit me, hug, hug. It's my day off. Well, then, I'm going to put on the intro bit now. Ugh. We get through this. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, buy all sorts of horrible stuff, bring them back here for a little segment we, we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And first off this week, we, we've had several stories on here like, about White House security. Uh, y- which is. Worse than the security at your local mall, as far as I can tell. It's it's kind of gotten a, a little, I think ridiculous is an understatement. Um, yeah. Because it started this week with uh, let me with the gyrocopter. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, 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 it didn't start with that. That was the start of it. That's what I heard about. And I was really amused because CNN did a whole bit on gyrocopters and why that's the perfect vehicle to use if you want to drop a bomb on, say, the White House, because it's not picked up on radar and it flies too low. Like all the reasons it's the perfect thing to use if you want to, say, blow up the Capitol or the White House. And I'm like, thanks, CNN. That's really helpful information to have. Well, it started, however, with a toddler. Toddler oh gets in the White House barricades. Why are people not watching their toddlers? That up on the screen. See it. Um. Because you know it's bad enough that we have to change Congress's diapers. <laughs> exactly. Security in the White House is again breached Sunday after a four-year-old toddler got through a security barrier on the property. The incident happened Sunday. No, this is last Sunday. The incident happened Sunday afternoon. Security agents rushed to the North Lawn with their weapons drawn and checked out the area. So a kid, they they discovered a fucking four-year-old. America (laughs) discovered the toddler managed to climb under a temporary barrier alongside Pennsylvania Avenue outside the White House gate. The barrier looks similar to a bike rack, but is meant to keep pedestrians away. So. A child. The White House is protected by a bike rack. <laughs> yes, the White House is protected. That sounds really secure. So you know that? Remember the old evil? The what was it? The evil overlord test. It, it used to have like, yes. and one of the rules was, if a four year you run any plan by a four year old, and if they can find a hole with it, then don't do it. And that yeah. It's kind of like our rule of run your marketing campaign by a 14-year-old. And if they giggle, start over. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's probably something on the internet you don't understand. Or it's a dick. It's a dick. (laughs) (laughs) Or your logo is a dick. And you don't see it. Yeah. (laughs) Everything is dicks. But can, can you just imagine the responses on both sides of this party here? Number one, you have the child climbing over the fence to be greeted by handguns. And on the other side, you have the Secret Service running up to draw their weapons on an intruder who's wearing diapers. Yeah. Who's like, hi. Sure. Do we take him out? Yeah, it's like SpongeBob. <laughs> Better so, on the side of caution on this one. SpongeBob's code. It's code. Take him out. Take him out. I just it. 
this does not look good for us, okay? Not no. this does not look good for America. Although I fully expect CNN to do a 10 minute package on how toddlers are a really great way to sneak in explosives. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. That is CNN these days. They're, they're yeah, that's kind of what they do. And this is why it, it's a perfect way to do terrorism. Could a toddler blow up your home? Find out after this. Yeah. And then, then the show gets flagged for mentioning all this. Yes. <laughs> Hi, NSA. Hi. Oh, we've, God, it's in trouble. we've been flagged so many times. I'm pretty sure if Nash ever sets foot in Thailand, he'll be shot on sight. If they, if I ever go to Australia, they're just going to sick all the wildlife on me. Yeah, this is the the second incident. Florida man lands gyrocopter on Capitol lawn. I love that we have a theme tonight. What the, the breaking into the White House? Yeah. Yeah. Hail to the breach. <laughs> I live there now. God, that the sucks. Sweet. <laughs> you gotta hook us up, right? <laughs> well, yeah. If you guys have, ever go there, and, and just, I have a Secret Service working on my movie. There it is, right there on the lawn. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, this, this. It was great that they got this guy's. I watch a oh, lot of CNN because it's amusing to me. They got this guy's like next door neighbor on the phone. <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, he's been cooking up this scheme for years. I told him it was insane. <laughs> he went ahead anyway. Florida resident Doug Hughes flew his gyrocopter to Washington, D.C., and landed on the west front lawn of the Capitol building on Wednesday. He reportedly flew the contraption to Washington to compel lawmakers to pay attention to the issue of campaign finance reform. What he got them to do was pay attention to the issue of the Mad Max reboot. <laughs> what a day! What a lovely day! <laughs> well, apparently he was carrying like 500 letters for members of Congress. And that's not how you get letters to members of Congress. No. And then he showed up for his court date in his postal worker uniform. Yeah, because oh. he's an actual postal worker. Oh. oh, yeah. None of this makes him look less crazy. No, this 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 was the plan that he thought everyone will be cool if I just take the letters and fly through one of the most allegedly heavily secure areas on the planet, land on the front lawn, and just hand them over. They'll be good. He's just the world's most devoted mailman. Like, if this was Miracle on 34th Street, he would fly his fucking gyrocopter to the North Pole and drop off all those fucking letters to Chris Kringle. All right. I, I, I can... I'll, just a perspective from... I've done work for the government before. I've done work for the Department of Homeland Security. Borderline classified shit. If I pulled this, they would stick a taser up my ass, if not a bullet in my skull. Well, to be fair, the government will pretty much stick a taser up your ass, put a bullet in your skull for like anything these days it's it's a hobby yeah as long as you're not white <laughs> <laughs> this is his fault Jesus Christ no. I have a <laughs> working on the like oh. so like like they top the fourth wall cards against humanity edition <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ <laughs> <laughs> Shit just got real in here. No, I, I have a really, really important America. question. <laughs> How did they not see it coming? Like, yeah, I mean, there are snipers all because. Well, I guess the gyrocopter doesn't only flies at like ten thousand feet, and they don't tend to patrol the air at that height because very few things fly at that height. Oh, and it's a bunch of too small. It's apparently too zones. small and quiet to pick up on radar. So all the different ways they watch that airspace, it is perfect for eluding. Which, you know, is absolutely terrifying. The toddler thing is just goofy. This is, is absolutely freaking, you know... Weird and terrifying. Yeah. Because yeah. all you need to do is fill one of those puppies up with C4 and... But, but what do you... Like, Batman even when it was landing, they with couldn't the track it? Like, I don't understand how they couldn't, like, track it as it was landing on the Capitol lawn. How about somebody is always watching Damn. what's going on near the White House and someone takes a gun? Yeah. All I'm just going to say is good enough for government work is what we say in D.C. That is true statement. <laughs> <laughs> but I so. love this guy's quote. I don't believe that the authorities are going to shoot down a 61-year-old mailman in a flying bicycle. <laughs> oh, don't you? Yes, I don't sir. have any defense, oh, totally. okay, but I don't believe that anybody wants to personally take responsibility for the fallout. 
I would. Guys, yeah. guys, yeah. on a gyrocopter down <laughs> towards the White House, I think you know stuff's gonna go down. I mean, said president, you just shot down the old man from up. <laughs> <laughs> This episode's gone bad already. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Moving right along. Um, so, where do we go from there? Um, Mortal Kombat 10 came out this week, which is astonishing. They keep making these games. Um, Mortal Kombat 10 is, you know, uh, ultraviolet. They take it, it, awesome. It's, yeah, dude. It's screeders in the game. The entire movie the White House is nineties kid playing Mortal Kombat X. <laughs> Where's an extra? When I and I, I remarked a while back that after I've been playing GTA for a while, I kind of get kind of in the zone. So when I actually leave the house and go out, and start driving around, I'm looking around. I'm like. Now that'd be a faster car. I just get out of the window and take it. It kind of like soaks in yeah. your brain for a little bit. I think that's what happened because, yeah, this is from uh, Canada. Let me get you this name. Who, who should fucking know better? <laughs> they they should, but they don't. Let me get you the link. Look who they have for a neighbor. Come on. <laughs> Man at library challenges guests to fight. He's cop in the head. <laughs> at the library? Hamilton police say they were called to the Hamilton Central Library Wednesday night. Oh, at the yeah, Hamilton, man. that's where we have Con Bravo. Con Bravo. Oh, my God. After a man was said to be causing a disturbance, including challenging guests to fight. Police say they arrived and were told an 18-year-old man was refusing to leave the library. They said they attempted to arrest the man, but he resisted and during a scuffle struck an officer with a knee to the head. Soon after, the man was Look. confined and placed under arrest. Look, buddy, I'm sorry that the library copy of Fifty Shades Darker is out. It'll get returned. Uh, a little sticky. You'll get to read it before the movie. Oh, gross. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just can you imagine you're in the library, you're there to check out, you got your kid, it's reading day, you're going to check out some books, get some Clifford the Big Red Dog. Hey, I challenge you to a duel. No. Look, so he, fucking look I had to challenge him to a fight. He entered my line of sight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. If you <laughs> promise to come back, do you pro oh yeah, I'll be back next week. Sure, no problem, yeah. And of course he's gonna show up again. <laughs> but you guys to keep that promise. <laughs> Minnesota is weird. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, don't you know there? We're nice like that. Don't know about them Canadians. <laughs> For funny <laughs> I was northern people. I guess the nice thing it was he was taking advantage of his local library. Not enough people do that. I just not sure this is how you're supposed to I don't think that's how you're supposed to take advantage of it. It's a library, of not an MMA gym. Right. Like, no. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do there. And then, of course, to get after being to challenge the cop to a fight with a knee to a head, they don't like it when you do that. They do not. Like, I mean, well, I imagine the Canadian police are a tad more civilized than the American no, police because just, this dude they, is still alive. They're not. They just apologize after they hit you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, excuse me there. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Craig Ferguson does a bit about how Canadians are super nice until you get involved with hockey. Yeah. And he said, the, he said, Canada doesn't even need a military. They don't need tanks. Just give them all hockey sticks and say, there you go, boys. The Taliban have the puck. <laughs> that is true. And boom, more peace. Oh, so moving along this week, let's see what else we have. Oh, get out of the off the screen. We don't need you there. Um, doing over this whole the cat's being an asshole. Miracle doesn't want to be on the show tonight. Not sure what you expected we, from a cat. We both went out of town for two days. She's only pissed at me. She's loving all over Dan. Me, she's <laughs> like fuck you. 
I don't know why I'm talking to her either because she's deaf. So I'm calling her. <laughs> she can't fucking hear me. So next up, you remember last week we had the story with the guys who broke into the beehive and pissed off <clears throat> thirty thousand bees. Yeah, uh, sure. I, I hate two bees. I hate two bees. <laughs> that, that is too many bees for someone that small. <laughs> <laughs> Too many bees. Yeah. Too, too many, many bees. Too many. We need that sequel, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We got it. it takes uh, a lot of bees. Cup of tea. Try semi spills millions <gasps> of bees oh, wow. on I five. Oh, there's a deadly bee weapon. <laughs> A bee demic, even. Okay. Yeah, that that is that's pretty much when uh, a truck full of bees overturns and the wave begins. That's wave when, of bees. That's when you pretty. That, I would speed so far and so fast. That's me too. Yeah, and you Remember, crash right you start in. Start driving zigzagged. Oh God, the eleventh plague. You hit all I had a bees. book when I was a kid. I had a children's <laughs> book called The Giant. <laughs> <laughs> so what's her? Have you heard? I had a children's book when I was a kid called The Giant Jelly Sandwich. Have you heard of this book? No. And it's all about this town that is taken over by a giant swarm of bees and everybody's getting stung. And so what they do is they get together and they build a giant oven and they build, they bake a giant loaf of bread and they make a giant jam sandwich and lure all the bees into the jam sandwich and then slam it shut. This was plan A. <laughs> 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 it doesn't tell you what they do with the sandwich after that. <laughs> well, it's but a this sandwich. is Frank's mind. All they need is a giant jam sandwich. <laughs> they use it to kill the giant. <laughs> there we go. The anaphylactic bee allergic giant that lives down the road. <laughs> These are the numbers that are going to haunt you. There were 448 hives on the truck, each with 50 to 60,000 bees. That's at least 22 million bees. Jesus, fuck. You know what this is? This is the happening. <laughs> it's the swarm. This is nature fighting back because bees, there's a, there's a blight, blight killing off bees. Like there's a bee shortage. You guys hear about the bees? It's crazy, right? <laughs> they're, fucking, they're fucking fighting back. They're like, fuck you humans. We're taking it. We're taking over. If, if, the bees show hair of the earth. <laughs> if you're driving a load of 22 million angry, stinging insects, I don't think I'd be speeding in that instance. I think mm -hmm. I'd hands it 10 Actually, I might, because I might be like, fuck this job. I need to get there. <laughs> I want to get over Drop it. off this oh. bullshit cargo. Oh, oh, Greg, it's a tsunami. Oh. It's a tsunami. Oh. This was also pretty much last week's episode of The Flash. Yes, it was. Which you, of all the things, Tara. The Flash should be able to run out, outrun bees. This is. The week a... before they established that he can run 600 miles an hour, and yet he can't fucking outrun bees. That's bullshit. Can <laughs> he fly 600 miles an hour? The fact that bees have access to the speed force. If they were Speed Force bees, sure. <laughs> they didn't specify that these were Speed Force bees. These were super yes, they were, they were robotic bees. Okay. Fuck that. All right. You guys need to stop streaming porn on your phones while we do this. <laughs> Brad you makes can watch, our guys watch Backdoor stop, Betty 16 stop later. Streaming sallow on your phone. Yeah, that's a thing I do. <laughs> so, Fairview High School students suspended after trying to extend spring break with Molotov cocktails. Oh my god. And this oh didn't god. happen in Florida. Boulder, what? Colorado. A group of Boulder High School students have been suspended after admitting they tried to extend spring break by throwing Molotov cocktails into their empty high school. Security guard at Fairview High School called police after smelling smoke and finding signs of a small fire. Officers found a baseball bat and rocks used to break two windows and discovered the remnants of homemade Molotov cocktails inside. It hadn't burned very long, but burned long enough to damage a bench. Now that already tells me they need to spend more time in school because they don't know how to properly mix the Molotov cocktail. I was just going to say that. So they, a little remedial chemistry is already in order. These are obviously not AP chemistry students in the slightest. No. 
Within hours, the school had repaired the damage, and two weeks later, news the incident still caught parents off guard. Um, administrators later identified six student suspects. Who Wait, said the school didn't tell people? No. They didn't tell anybody that some kids tried to blow up the school? I mean, doesn't that sound like something you should tell people who actually go to the school? Seems like something you'd want to know, yeah, that somebody tried to go all fucking Heathers on your school. <laughs> <laughs> pull it, yeah, pull it a window in a writer, yeah. But um, we're just very a little early. Yeah. We did not want to do anything that might interfere with the police investigation, they said. Oh. Uh, they later identified six student suspects who said their motivation was to ex extend spring break for one or two more days. <laughs> so they broke the window, they set their school on fire, they risked expulsion and a prison term just for a couple more days off. And on top of that, they had a really shitty cocktail. Like This is like those people that when there's a traffic jam rock it up the shoulder to get like yes. two car lengths ahead of everybody and make the whole jam worse. Yeah, these kids can grow up into those people. Yeah. Right. Like you haven't really helped yourself and you fucked over everybody else. Yes. I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the McGrib is back. Yes. <laughs> but I'm just surprised they're just suspended, which are when I was, I don't know about anybody else, when I was a kid, if I tried to light the school on fire, I wouldn't be allowed to go back to that school. Yes. No, and you'd think, especially in this day and age where we're so fucking jumpy about toes, <laughs> you'd think that they'd be like a Gitmo by now. Yeah. Because they might be ISIS. Oh, just attempted arson. Well, that's nothing. That's, that's, that's more than attempted arson. They did it. They they performed well, arson, Lewis. That wasn't that's a, what that was. That wasn't that attempted was arson. arson. It was oh, arson. God. This what? last quote from one of the parents. They're young. They're kids. Back when we were growing up, a lot of people made stupid decisions. And getting expelled from a school, having these kind of allegations can ruin your life. Oh, yeah. Freaking who? <laughs> they tried to set the damn school on fire. Come on, in their defense, they wanted to drink. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, geez. like yeah, those kind of things can ruin your life. That's why you don't do them. That's not why they don't punish you for them. That's why you don't fucking do them. You little fucking miscreants. Uh, <laughs> those rascals. Damn kids Just today. <laughs> they could have killed someone. <laughs> Speaking of sick. fire. Oh, oh no. Oh, we have a segment on we, we need to have a segment on the show somehow. This it's this weird we've been doing this for so long. And so yet long. the same kinds of shit. Not just not just similar, but like the exact same scenarios keep playing themselves out. It's creepy. It's happened again. And oh yeah, thank you, Florida. Um, Everyone take your Florida shot. Damn, Damn it, my scotch is still in my room. Florida oh, shot. Oh, let's get the, <laughs> let's get that one over to you. Because I actually play along with the drinking game. Man says he set house on fire trying to kill a mouse. Oh my I God. just finished watching Mouse Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fremont, uh, is this, I thought this was Florida. He says that, but really just want to do more to his spring break. <laughs> <laughs> a, Clyde, a Clyde man told authorities he was using spray paint and a lighter as a torch to kill a mouse when he accidentally set fire to his garage. Okay. One of the few versions of Erlen Sexton 48 told authorities regarding how the fire that destroyed his garage and damaged his house started. He has been charged with purposefully setting a fire. Sexton is expected to stand trial for uh, one felony count each of arson and aggravated arson. What is the difference? What is aggravated well, arson? Well, sadly, Nash, this is not a Florida story. Oh, well, the, okay. This California? is an Ohio story. Ohio? Oh, well. What's Ohio, aggravated? Florida. <laughs> well, there is a Miami in Ohio. I don't know what aggravated arson is. Yeah, what, what's... Did you piss off fire? 
<laughs> it's when you piss off the fire. <laughs> Now, here's the thing. I have been known to kill bees with a bottle of Clorox cleanup because I don't want to touch them. So I just shoot at them like a sniper with Clorox cleanup until they die. But I don't then light a match. Yeah. Because that would be stupid. I mean, so spraying bleach all over my house to kill a bee. But there's levels. Their tears are stupid. Really similar to, uh, you guys remember that show Rescue 911? Yes. Oh, God! Yes. There was an episode oh, yeah. I can recall somewhere in the backs of my mind seeing where this guy had a bee sitting on his window, and he doesn't decide to, like, go and swat the bee. He takes a gun <laughs> and points it at the bee on his window. And, of course, the bullet, I have no idea whether or not it hit the bee, but it went through the window and hit a child playing in the front yard across the street. And thus, the rest of the Rescue 911 episode happens. To shoot a bee! <laughs> to shoot a bee. Just smosh it with your shoe like everybody else. There's no kill like over. <laughs> yeah, seriously. She had serious arachnophobia, and when I was in the hospital with that spider bite, she seriously considered just burning the fucking house down. <laughs> I love the picture of this guy, too. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> 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 he's just he's just like what yep. <laughs> fuck that mouse up what <laughs> I got it didn't I fuck that's you that's Mickey once and shaves his head <laughs> oh Jesus you're wrong oh my god holy oh, shit <laughs> whoa what was that? that that's what happens when Ron Swanson shaves his head why did I set my house on fire? I have this permission slip right here. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> Don't tell me what I'm about, son. <laughs> wow, Tara, Tara's face, the, the, the camera locked on probably the worst face. It always, <laughs> it always does. My screen always freezes when I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one more this week, and this is the, of course, coup de grace. We've, we've talked about yet another new synthetic drug. This is the second time uh, we mentioned this uh, one. Uh, Flaca. The old yes. drug. Yes. Yes. Work. That name amuses me because that's always a, that's also a character on Orange is the New Black. Flaca, yeah. She's the goth Latina chick, and I like her. Yeah. <laughs> well, this, this one is, you know... When when you, drug dealers used to like go up to him and say, "What'll this do? Oh, this this will uh, you know chill you out, man, or this will get you like really revved up." I don't exa- I don't un- understand how drug dealers explain what this one does. And that's how you know we're fucking old because we don't understand the new drugs. <laughs> hey, kids these days they're old with their new drugs. I had cocaine back in my day, and that was good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up, old man Snowplane. Why can't you just steal your grandmother's oxycontin like regular people? Now this is Florida. Florida man high on flaca. Attacked officer, said he was God, had sex with tree. Like okay, you do? All, do is Brad's Friday night. Uh, All right, but here's the thing. Look at the Friday mugshot. Look, Look at the mugshot. This dude's having sex with a tree sober. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this guy fucks trees because it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> a Florida man believes the high on Flocka drug the authorities say is sweeping the state, attacked a... What the fuck is Flocka? <laughs> attacked a Broward oh, County police officer after twice being shocked with a taser while repeatedly saying he was God. Kenneth Crowder, 41, of Melbourne, was arrested Friday on charges of battery on a law enforcement officer resisting with violence and assault with a deadly weapon. According to Melbourne Police Report, Crowder was spotted by witnesses running naked through a Melbourne neighborhood, yelling that he was God before committing a sexual act on a tree. Melbourne Police Office. Well, I found out what Flocka is. It's just another name for bath salts. No. Uh, A Melbourne police officer mm. went to the area and confronted Crowder, who was wearing blue jeans and a t-shirt. Crowder walked toward the officer in an aggressive manner, identified himself as God. Again, that doesn't work. Okay, you can't you can't say no. It's okay. I'm God. The cops cool. don't like that one. He's too. I am the Almighty. <laughs> well, not only that, but I'm pretty sure God's name is not Kenneth. 
<laughs> Look, you can't. It's George Burns. We're not even sure God's name is God, to be honest. You can't let... stop my relationship with this tree. It is totally natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at best he's Zeus because he's just fucking trees. <laughs> do you remember what would Jesus do? <clears throat> that whole that well, the, the remember did that. Has that gone away? Because I was in Virginia this past weekend. And... Still doing it? Okay. Oh yeah. You know, if 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 the answer, if you answer, what would Jesus do? He would get, he would fuck a tree and beat up a cop. If that's your answer, remedial yeah, the, Sunday school. The answer, what would Jesus do, is not fauna. Yeah. Flora. I guess the tree would be flora. Yeah, flora. Yeah. Just I was an art major. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Jesus, Jesus was pissed at trees. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Look it up in your Bibles. He struck down a tree once. Yeah, he damned a tree. God hates figs. Well, did he strike it down with his dick? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Only in the King James. Because maybe we got a connector here. So yes, yeah. Let's let's go over what we learned. I mean, you can love nature, just don't, don't love, love nature. nature. Let's go over the first things we we learned this week. The White House security has some work to do. Yeah. My husband decided to draw us an MS. Oh no! Sweet. This is our. This is us right now. Apparently, in MS Paint. <laughs> I can't even see it, but whatever. I can't see it. I see white boxes on a red field. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Caleb's husband. Good representation. I like that I'm literally just ahead. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. There's nothing. <laughs> We've learned that uh, uh, Skype sucks rocks. Skype sucks all kinds of rocks. Not only that, but the hotel Wi-Fi is sucks. stupid. But no, the Skype hotel sucks rocks. Right. You know, if Skype sucks rocks, the hotel Wi-Fi sucks boulders. Mm. We've learned that. I... Poetic. <laughs> Damn right. Uh, we've learned that uh, you know, school's out forever. Just a song. Just, Just a song. a song. Not a suggestion. <laughs> um, we've learned that if you can do a job without fire, you should probably not use fire. Fire, well, fire bad. Give me a flight to two Go ahead and Tell that to the Mythbusters. <laughs> I know you want to. And my nine-year-old nephew. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> fire. Fire bad. And finally tonight. Oh, <laughs> and finally tonight, we've learned that uh, tree huggers. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that that's a phrase you can take a little too far. Yeah. But then it, Nash, then it sees us to be hugging. Also, also, if you think you're God, you're probably just Zeus. Oh, he at least coupled with the tree afterwards. <laughs> is tree fucking what the snow dicker is do in the summer? 